Gold bars, often seen as symbols of wealth and security, undergo a fascinating journey from deep within the Earth to the gleaming ingots stored in vaults worldwide. Have you ever wondered how millions of these bars are produced? Let's delve into the meticulous process that transforms raw ore into refined gold bars. Chapter 1 Unearthing the Treasure – Gold Mining Gold's journey begins deep underground. How do miners extract this precious metal from the earth? Gold mining starts with locating rich deposits through geological surveys and exploratory drilling. Once identified, mining companies develop plans to extract the ore efficiently and safely. There are two primary mining methods, open pit and underground mining. Open pit mining involves removing large surface areas to access ore deposits near the surface while underground mining requires creating tunnels to reach deeper deposits. After establishing the mine, heavy machinery is brought in to break up and transport the ore. In open pit mines, large excavators and trucks move vast amounts of earth. While underground mines use drills and loaders to extract the ore. Safety is paramount, with strict protocols in place to protect workers from hazards like cave-ins and equipment accidents. The extracted ore contains only a small percentage of gold, often mixed with other minerals and metals. To separate the gold, the ore undergoes crushing and grinding, reducing it to fine particles. This increases the surface area, making it easier to extract the gold during the subsequent processing stages. Environmental considerations are integral to modern mining operations. Companies implement measures to minimize ecological impact, such as land rehabilitation and water management systems. By addressing environmental concerns, the industry aims to balance resource extraction with sustainability. Once the ore is prepared, it moves to the processing plant, where the gold is separated from other materials, marking the next step in its transformation into pure gold bars. Chapter 2 Extracting Gold – From Ore to Dore how is gold separated from the tons of rock and minerals it's found with? The crushed ore undergoes a process called leaching, where chemicals like cyanide or in some cases chlorine are used to dissolve the gold. This solution is then collected and treated to extract the gold. The use of cyanide, while effective, requires careful handling due to its toxicity, necessitating stringent environmental and safety protocols. Once dissolved, the gold-laden solution undergoes absorption, where activated carbon or zinc is used to separate the gold from the liquid. This results in a concentrated form of gold, which is then subjected to further refining processes. The concentrated gold is then smelted at high temperatures to remove impurities, resulting in a semi-pure alloy known as dore. This dore bar typically contains between 60 and 90 percent gold, with the remaining percentage comprising other metals like silver and copper. Throughout this process, strict quality control measures are in place to ensure the maximum recovery of gold and the safe handling of hazardous materials. Advancements in technology have improved the efficiency and environmental impact of gold extraction methods. The resulting dore bars are then transported to refineries, where they will undergo further purification to achieve the high purity levels required for commercial gold bars. Chapter 3 – Refining Gold – Achieving Purity Turning dore into pure gold requires precision. What methods ensure the highest quality? At the refinery, dore bars undergo processes to remove remaining impurities. Two common refining methods are the Miller process and the Woolwill process. The Miller process uses gaseous chlorine to extract impurities, resulting in gold of about 99.5% purity. The Woolwill process, an electrochemical procedure, can achieve gold purity up to 99.99%. In the Miller process, the dore is melted and chlorine gas is bubbled through the liquid. Impurities react with the chlorine to form chlorides, which rise to the surface and are skimmed off. This method is faster but less precise than the Woolwill process. The Woolwill process involves casting the gold into anodes and placing them in an electrolytic cell. 
An electric current dissolves the gold from the anode and deposits it into a cathode, leaving impurities behind. This method produces gold of exceptional purity, suitable for high-end applications. Refineries adhere to strict environmental and safety standards, managing hazardous materials and emissions responsibly. Waste products are treated to neutralize harmful substances before disposal, and efforts are made to recycle materials whenever possible. Once refined, the pure gold is ready for the final stage, casting into bars that meet market specifications. Chapter 4 Casting Gold Bars – Shaping the Boolean How does pure gold take the shape of bars treasured by investors and banks? The refined gold is melted in a furnace at temperatures exceeding 1,064 degrees Celsius or 1,947 degrees Fahrenheit. Once liquefied, it is poured into molds of varying sizes, depending on the desired weight of the bars. Common sizes range from small 1 kg bars to large 400 ounce approximately 12.4 kg bars favored by central banks and institutional investors. As the gold cools and solidifies, it takes on the characteristic appearance of a gold bar. To enhance its visual appeal and remove surface imperfections, the bar may undergo additional processes such as polishing or milling. Some bars are also minted, meaning they are stamped from rolled gold sheets to achieve precise dimensions and high-quality finish. Each bar is then stamped with important identifying information, including its weight, purity, often marked as 99.99% or 999.9, .9, refinery logo, and a unique serial number. This information is crucial for authenticity and traceability in the gold market. Quality control is essential throughout the casting process. Refineries conduct assays, analytical tests, to verify the purity of each bar. Any bar that does not meet the stringent standards is remelted and refined again. The finished gold bars are now ready for distribution, securely packaged and transported to vaults, banks, and investors worldwide. Chapter 5 Quality Assurance – Ensuring Purity and Authenticity Quality assurance in gold bar production involves rigorous testing and verification processes. Assaying is a key component, where small samples from each batch are analyzed to confirm purity levels. Techniques such as fire assay, considered the most accurate method, are used to determine the gold content in each bar. Even slight deviations in purity can result in the bar being reprocessed to meet the required standard. In addition to purity testing, each bar undergoes dimensional checks to ensure it meets specific size and weight requirements. Advanced measurement tools are used to assess the dimensions down to fractions of a millimeter. Precision is essential, especially for bars intended for institutional investors or central banks. Serial numbers and certification marks are engraved or stamped onto the surface of each bar. These identifiers provide traceability, allowing buyers to verify the authenticity of the gold. Many refineries are adopting blockchain technology to create a digital record of each bar's production and ownership history, offering enhanced transparency and security. Counterfeit prevention is also a priority. To deter forgery, some gold bars feature tamp-proof packaging or holographic security marks. These advanced measures ensure that the bar cannot be replicated without detection, safeguarding the integrity of the gold market. The culmination of these steps ensures that every gold bar leaving the refinery meets the highest standards of quality and authenticity, ready for distribution to global markets. Chapter 6 – Logistics and Distribution – Moving Gold Safely How are millions of gold bars transported securely across the globe? Once gold bars are ready for distribution, they are meticulously packaged to protect them during transit. The bars are wrapped in secure materials and placed in tamper-evident containers, which are then sealed and labeled with tracking information. Transportation is a delicate process due to the high value of gold. Armored vehicles are often used for domestic deliveries, providing maximum security during transport. For international shipments, gold is flown via cargo planes with specialized handling protocols to minimize risks. Shipping companies specializing in precious metals are employed to manage these transfers. These companies work closely with security firms to safeguard gold at every step of its journey. Surveillance systems, GPS tracking, and security escorts are standard practices. 
Customs regulations and documentation are crucial for international shipments. Each gold bar shipment must comply with the destination country's import laws and taxation requirements. Refineries and logistics providers ensure that all necessary paperwork, such as certifications of origin and assay reports, is in order before shipping. Upon arrival, the gold bars are delivered to vaults, banks, or buyers. Vaults are equipped with advanced security systems, including biometric access controls to protect the stored gold. The entire logistics process reflects the immense care taken to preserve the integrity of each bar from refinery to its final destination. Chapter 7 – Gold in the Market – From Bars to Investment Once produced, how do gold bars enter the global economy and markets? Gold bars play a significant role in the global economy. Central banks purchase large bars to bolster their reserves, as gold is considered a stable asset. Institutional investors often trade gold bars as part of their portfolio diversification strategies, leveraging gold's value as a hedge against economic instability. Gold bars are sold on international exchanges such as the London Bullion Market (LBMA) or COMEX. These exchanges provide a platform for buying and selling gold at market prices, often dictated by global supply and demand. Refineries work closely with trading houses to ensure a steady flow of gold into these markets. For individual investors, smaller gold bars are available through retail outlets or online platforms. These bars are often accompanied by certificates of authenticity, assuring buyers of their purity and origin. As demand for investment-grade gold increases, refineries continue to innovate by producing bars in various sizes to suit diverse budgets. Gold is also a critical component in the jewelry and electronics industries. While bars are often melted and reshaped for these purposes, their initial form is a testament to the industry's precision in crafting high-purity materials. The life cycle of a gold bar doesn't end with its sale. Many bars re-enter the market through recycling, where old or unused gold is refined and cast into new bars, sustaining the cycle of production and demand. Chapter 8 – Sustainability in Gold Production – A Greener Future How is the gold industry addressing its environmental and ethical responsibilities? Gold mining and production have significant environmental impacts, including habitat destruction, water usage, and greenhouse gas emissions. To address these concerns, many companies are adopting sustainable practices to minimize their ecological footprint. Modern refineries invest in clean energy solutions such as solar or wind power to reduce their reliance on fossil fuels. Water recycling systems are implemented to conserve resources during ore processing and cooling stages. Ethical sourcing is another major focus. The gold industry has established initiatives like the Responsible Gold Mining Principles, or RGMP, to ensure that mining operations respect human rights, labor laws, and local communities. Mines adhering to these principles are certified as responsibly sourced, giving consumers confidence in their purchases. Recycling gold plays a crucial role in sustainability efforts. Many refineries specialize in processing scrap gold, reducing the need for new mining operations. This approach significantly lowers environmental impacts and extends the life cycle of existing gold. Through these efforts, the gold industry is evolving to meet modern sustainability standards, ensuring that the production of gold bars remains aligned with global environmental goals. Chapter 9 – The Future of Gold Bars – Innovation and Trends What innovations are shaping the future of gold production? Advancements in technology are revolutionizing gold production. Automation and artificial intelligence are streamlining mining and refining processes, improving efficiency while reducing costs. AI-powered systems can analyze ore samples in real time, optimizing extraction methods and minimizing waste. Blockchain technology is also transforming the industry by providing a secure and transparent way to track gold's journey from mine to market. Buyers can verify the origin and authenticity of gold bars through a digital ledger, promoting trust and accountability in the supply chain. Sustainable mining techniques such as biomining are gaining traction. These methods use microorganisms to extract gold from low-grade ores, reducing the environmental impact compared to traditional mining. 
In the investment space, gold-backed digital assets are emerging as a modern alternative to physical bars. These assets represent fractional ownership of gold stored in secure vaults, allowing investors to trade gold conveniently without handling physical bullion. As the industry embraces these innovations, gold bars will continue to be a cornerstone of wealth storage, adapting to the needs of an evolving world. From deep underground to gleaming vaults, the journey of a gold bar is a testament to human ingenuity and the enduring allure of this precious metal. Every step from mining and refining to packaging and distribution reflects a delicate balance of tradition, technology, and sustainability. The next time you see a gold bar, remember the incredible process that brought it into existence, a journey steeped in history, innovation, and meticulous craftsmanship. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of gold, subscribe for more factory adventures and let us know what other fascinating process would you like to explore?